In this video, I'm going to go over downloading files using BitTorrent technology. Now for those of you who don't know what BitTorrent is, it basically is a protocol that allows you to download files and upload files across the internet, basically file sharing in general, and it differs from its cousin file sharing technology known as P2P or peer-to-peer -peer, in that it uses tracker files, otherwise known as torrents or torrent files, they're sometimes called, to keep information regarding the location of users that have that file so that you can download from them. Anyway, in order to download BitTorrent, you need a BitTorrent client. The one I'm going to use in this video, my personal favorite is Azurius. You can get that by going to getazurius.com. Google it if you need to. You'll find it. Download that and install it. And you'll also need to set up your router to properly forward and point to your computer if you have a router. Um, if you have a firewall, you'll need to set that up to let through on the port that Azurius uses, which is not standard, so I can't just give it to you. You have to actually check it out. One way to find it is to go to Tools from within Azurius, Nap Firewall Test, and this is the port used. Um, you should test it, and if it says OK right here, then you're all good to go with Azurius after clicking Apply. So, <coughs> the first thing to do when trying to download a BitTorrent file, in this case we're going to look for a movie. Um, we're going to look for the movie Star Trek. And what we have to do first is download a torrent file that contains the information on the users for that particular movie file. First thing, the first step in that is to go to a torrent site. And my personal favorite is isohunt.com. That's where we're at right now on screen. I know of a bunch of others. You can go find others, go Google, look for torrent sites. Um, my personal favorite is isohunt for reasons that are too long and tedious to get into right now. Anyway, <clears throat> to start, we will search after going to this address for a movie. And we'll start with Star Trek. And as you can see, it returned our results. So we have Star Trek. These are a list of the different movies available. This is all movies. And it's under the video movies category. So I'm just going to expand this here. <clears throat> You'll notice it's number 57 and 144. And this is the, the size of all the files altogether that you'll download for that movie. Uh, this includes all of them, I believe. I'll scroll down. Yeah, it has all ten of them here. Star Trek's each movie is a separate AVI file. <clears throat> so these numbers, this is what all the files together, all of these files, are going to uh, be the file size, 6.64 gigs. This number is the number of seeders. Now, this is important. These are seeders. These are leechers. Uh, seeders are people who are currently downloading and allowing others to download. They are basically sharing both in and out on their internet connection. <coughs> this, all these files. Seeders are good. The higher that number, the better. These are leechers. Leechers are bad. Leechers you want to never be, please. And you never want to have too many of those. We have more leechers on this set than cedars, but cedar value is pretty high, so it's not too bad. The 144, basically leechers are people who download the file, but will not let anyone download it from them. They like to rip things off, but not share with the rest. That's, that's mean. Don't do that. Bad. Okay. So, <clears throat> we have this file open. As long as you have a pretty high value, oh, you know, at least two or three seeders. Like I say, higher, better. Go ahead and download that torrent. Copy this link location right here. I'm using Firefox. 
And now that we have that copy of the clip clipboard, I'm going to go back to Azurius. Come up here and click Open. You can also do File Open, Torrent File. I just hit the button because it's easier. And you're going to add from clipboard. This will basically paste our torrent link into here. And you see that all these files, which were listed on the website, are in there, 1 through 10. So they're all checked. Pretty much everything is taken care of right now. This is going to save to this location, the files, which is good. It's fine. Go ahead and click OK. And that will give you a notice that all the, that the file you just got has been added to your download list. So I'll just hide that for the moment being. And you will notice this file here, this is the torrent, has started. The downloaded size so far is only 48 kil kilobytes. This will take a little while to get started and run. Um, ETA is listed here, days and hours. And that will change, it'll decrease as time goes on. And the down speed, download speed will increase and get faster. You can also double click this line and get a whole bunch of detail information. This is why I like Azurius because it gives you all the good info that you want to have if, like me, you're a big torrent person who likes to download lots of stuff. So, download speed, you can see, is increasing a little bit. It was like one kilobyte, something like that before, and now it's gone a little higher. It'll fluctuate a little bit and eventually get higher and higher. This number is the availability. This refers to the number of copies available. In other words, basically the number of users that each have a full copy. <clears throat> so, if this is at least one or higher, you're good. Preferably higher. If it's less than one, if it's like 0.2 or 0.5 or, or 0 0.9 even or 9.6, away from it, you might as well just stop the download because you will not get it all. People, that's very important. You need at least one or higher. Okay. <clears throat> so down here we have peers, 30 connected, 136 in the swarm. I'm going to explain what a swarm is, but the 30 connected is basically how many people are currently attached to this torrent file or rather how many people are being tracked actively in the torrent file. Go to peers and you can see all the people who are there. And go to swarm. And it's a list of all the swarms, swarm groups that are out there. So pieces. Uh, not much to say on that. Files. This is another important part. If your torrent has multiple files to it, like this one does, got movies 1 through 10, you're going to notice that you will need uh, to keep an eye on this, especially if it's like a, a series of movies, because if you are like me, don't want to wait for the whole torrent to download, you can select all of these, right, this is 2 through, it starts over here 10 because it's 0 the way it lists, you can right click this whole section after selecting it, go to set priority and set it to do not download. That will basically stop these from downloading. And it will leave this one, which we did not have selected when we did that, downloading. Which means that we will finish a file at a time in succession until it is all entirely complete. And once this file finishes, it will tell us that it's done 100% right here, and it will say right here, this this will all read out blue. It'll have a blue, you can see there's one little line here, but it will read out blue all the way across. So once that's done, you can go to number two. Again, like me, if you want to watch it in succession, hurry up and get them done so you can. And you'll go to set priority after right-clicking it and go to normal and click that. It will start that one, which now is to normal. I'm going to set it back to do not download, because I'm going to wait for this one to finish.